Hey guys, this is Dale from Dale's Workshop. I'm gonna do a little bit of a different video today. Uh, I was uh, contacted recently by a company who wanted me to do a review on their product. And so I thought of it, you know, this being winter and uh, cold season coming on, it'd be a good time to do a review on a product like this. This is, uh, the company is, is Toptus. The product is a carbon monoxide detector. It's a CT580. Now, in my house, I have like two gas heaters. I have a hot water heater. I have a furnace. And we're also going to check it on an open fire just to see uh, how it works and to uh, see how the uh, readings of carbon monoxide are in my house. And I don't know, maybe some of them may be pretty bad and I may need some work done. So that's that's the uh, things that you need to check and that's what a detector like this will do for you. So let's get on with it and see what this thing's all about. You have your owner's manual and the first 23 pages is in English. After that you have several other languages and it, uh, it tells you what they are. Don't want to lose this. This is uh, very helpful in, in understanding how this thing operates. Okay, so let's open up this guy and uh, see what we got. Got a nice little case. It's padded nicely. Here is your charging cord. It's a USB-A to C. And uh, I've already charged it. So it's uh, fully charged and nice padded. It's protected really well. I also wanted to point out to you right here, this little uh, looks like a circle with a slash in it, whatever, is for your vibration. It's your when you're holding it and it catches readings. It, if it's set on vibration, it, it's active here. The other, the bell is for your audible if uh, we'll try to get something uh, here a little bit later where we can get a good through reading so that you can see those in operation and this is your charge level here how much battery you have left so when turning this on you have to press and hold the button the power button on and then it's going to run through a self test You're gonna go through the LCD, the lights, the buzzer, the vibrator, and the storage. And now it's the sensor is warming up now. Okay, now it's ready to go. You'll notice the uh, you have a digital, and then you have the uh, donut here where you've got green yellow and red and it goes from zero to a thousand and that's uh, parts per million so in order to go through the uh, some of its storage it has uh, event record alarm setting calibration system setting advanced menu and information and so any any one of these that you want to check out you hit function and it brings them up and then from there you can do uh, pretty much whatever you need to so we'll go back and this also has a uh, flashlight function so we press here press the flashlight you see the flashlight come on? So you also have that function. Now turning it off, you just have to press here, hold the key down, and it powers it off. Okay, we're gonna turn this thing on and let it run through its uh, little test. It tests all of its programs. And now it's ready. 
We're going to get closer to the heater and see how things are going on here. Well, that makes me quite happy. It's reading zero. It's supposed to be burning clean and it appears that it is. Okay, now we're going to go to another heater and try it out. Now I'm in uh, heater number two. We have two gas heaters in the house, so let's try this one. So far, standing in the room, it's still it's showing zero. So we get closer to the to the heater. Still showing zero, and that's what I want. Even coming down where the heat's coming out, still zero. So again, we have a good another clean burning heater, and that's fantastic. Okay, so I'm down in the basement now, and uh, I just got the uh, hot water heater to turn on. Let's check it and see how it, how it works. So it is detecting some sealed so far. In a very safe range. Okay, so it went up as high as 10. And now it looks like it's kind of steady at 7. Still a very acceptable rate. 9, 8. So we're going up and down here. So far, I hadn't got over 10. Let's back up a ways and see. Okay, that is about six or eight inches from the opening of the, of the, um, so we had it about here. Okay, all right, now I want to, uh, I want to check a few like, like here. This is a joint to make sure that we don't have anything coming out of the joints. So... We're good there. Let's check some others. Here's a joint here. Still zero at this joint. And this one, we may not be able to see it very well back here, but this is the joint going up to the roof. And it's still at zero also. Okay. So we're good. Okay, so here we've built a fire and we're gonna see if we can get some readings here. It's up in the yellow, so it's in the caution area but it hasn't gone up into the red yet. And it might not. Still climbing. Now it's declining. But there's proof. You get away from the fire now, you can see it declining. We get back into this. I can. Now, if we watch it, it should go down to say 45 and then stop beeping. The wind's changed and the smoke is coming this way. 
It appears that the smoldering fire puts out more CO than, say, just a regular. Interesting. Well, you see, once it got below 45, the uh, alarm went off. And so now it's uh, still quite a, there's still some in the area, which I'm probably about three feet away from the fire now. So at least uh, the uh, seal around me is sort of safe range. The further away I get, so it is now declining. And I'm probably six or eight feet away from the smoldering. Hey, Opie. Okay, so that's, I think that's a pretty good demonstration for you. I think we're going to call it quits there. I, we, we've shown you that it works. You really don't think about seal when you're around a fire and and in your home and how thing, how it can escape from certain areas. You know, this type of a device is definitely something that uh, could help you out a lot in you know, determining the sea level in your house. And I have stationary seal in a couple of rooms in the house. They've never gone off. And of course, uh, as we saw when I checked the heaters and things, there was no uh, emittance. I'm glad I have it. So that's gonna be it. Thanks for watching. And if you think you might need one of these, uh, check out the, uh, I'll put a link in the uh, description down there to uh, check out their website. Well, thanks for watching guys. Uh, let me just kind of recap a little bit now. I took a reading on two of my gas heaters upstairs and got uh, zero on all three, on both of them. I was going to ch uh, check my furnace, but uh, right now it's not, it won't come on. There's a issue with my thermostat. And I checked the uh, hot water heater and everything in my house is, is good to go. So I checked with the, uh, the little fire that I built outside and that's when we got the outrageous readings on that. So, you know, the, the, uh, the fire itself puts out a lot of, of CO2. Another thing you might want to check is your, uh, you know, if you have a generator around your house and it's near your house where the exhaust can get in, you might want to have, you might want to check that because I know the generators uh, emit a lot. And they also in your garage and in your shop, if you have an open flame heater in there, that would be another place to make sure that you uh, would. Check. So anyway, it's a good little item to have and I'm glad I have one. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it was a help to you. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.